Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm actually filming this intro post video because I felt like I would have more to say for the intro after I lived for the week. So this video, as you can tell by the title, is a week of quarantine workouts. So this is just how I worked out every day this week at home. This is not me saying that you should be working out at home, that you have to work out at home or anything like that this is just something i've been doing to keep myself occupied sort of keep my mental health in check and my physical health and just something to put the day in that i have been personally enjoying and i thought i would share with you guys so yeah this is five no six days worth of workouts i normally would have taken a rest day but for some reason i was like extra motivated this week and didn't tire out I think it's due to like sitting in the house for the rest of the day rather than being out and about but I will be taking I only film six days because I'm taking my rest day tomorrow <laughs> this is just like a random mix up of workouts that I've been doing at home I just like to mix it up do different things every day and sort of like see what my body can do so I've kind of been using the time to like push myself a lot more than I have had the chance to before and just see how capable I am and I've really surprised myself as you will see throughout the week. I suppose I can start off this video by saying if there's something you want to do, if there's something you want to do but maybe don't think you can, just believe in yourself, go out and try it and I'm sure you will be surprised at what you're capable of because personally that's something I've done this week. So yeah, without any more blabbering, I think we'll just get on straight into the video and start with day one of my week of workouts. Hello guys, so it is Monday, day one of my week of home workouts and today I'm just doing a workout in the house. So it was either between going for a run today or doing a workout at home and it's actually about 12 p.m. I was in work this morning from 3 a.m. until half seven half three to half seven and then i was really tired when i got home so i napped and then it was like nine o'clock or after no it was about half nine when i woke up from my nap and i if i'm going for a run at the minute i prefer to go as early as possible in the morning because i want to be around the least amount of people as possible and i've sort of found the earlier you go the quieter it is so that's why i'm doing a workout at home and i thought i'd try something a bit different today it's actually one i've been wanting to try for a while so there's this girl on YouTube called Pamela Rife. You probably already know who she is. She's got like millions of followers. She is a fitness YouTuber. And before lockdown began in the UK, she shared a home workout plan. She shared three different home workout plans. So she shared a 30 minute, a beginner and a 45 minute. And I think I'm gonna go for the 45 minute. And she has days one to seven on here. So I'm gonna pick one of these to follow for today. I keep meaning to do this and I always keep forgetting it's a thing, but then I remember this morning so that's what I'm gonna go with today my workouts are pretty changeable day by day I do try to go for runs pretty consistently maybe like every other day but other than that it just depends on how I feel so this is what we're gonna go with today because I'm feeling pretty energetic and good and like I want to have a good sweat and let's see let's decide which day we're gonna go for I'm feeling like a leg workout I'm also kind of feeling like just a full body see I don't really like to like specifically focus on one area I just like to like move <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for day three actually because it seems to be the most full body so we have the 10 minute good morning workout so this workout plan is based on like her different videos and she's put so this one's got four different videos some of them have three just whatever so yeah this one has four different videos so we have her 10 minute good morning workout her 8 minute abs and hit workout with Jason Derulo, 15 minute high intensity full body and 10 minute cool down slow workout. So yeah, I think we'll go with that today and see how that goes. Wish me luck. Ten minute good morning, let's go. Oh we need to start the Fitbit. Before we start, you can't start a workout without having your Fitbit running like can you? So 
one done of the four and um, as you can tell I've taken my hoodie and off so I do feel warmed up but like I don't feel like dead do you know what I mean like I feel like it was a good like first 10 minutes of a workout like a good like muscle activator warm-up kind of thing um would be great if you're literally just looking for like a 10 minute workout because as you can tell i am a wee bit whew, a wee bit puffed but i do feel like ready to do a bit of more jumping because it was very much like there was a lot of like almost sort of yoga style exercises going on there to like warm up your muscles which was great so yeah now i'm just going to move on and do the other three which is the jason derulo the 15 minute hit and the cool down and i'll catch up with you guys when i have done all three Workout three, 15 minute hit. Let's go. in the middle of the hit so I wasn't able to record any of the cool down or like going into it or anything because I just wanted to keep going with it instead of like stopping and going and changing my battery but now I've changed my battery and I've come back outside because I was like I want to be in the same setting <laughs> when I finish this day off but that was very good I very much enjoyed that and I kind of am sad that I didn't get to show you when I had a really red face see after the hit my face was like bright red and then the cool down was very like it was like a difficult cool down and I feel like if you were looking a really low intensity like stretch kind of workout it would be very good for that so yeah in total that was so 10 minutes for that 15 minutes 25 and then 8 plus 10 is 18 43 minutes and then sort of with everything in between my Fitbit has come to 49 minutes and I feel like that was a very good workout for the day and it was pretty intense I would say. That is day one of this week of workouts. Would definitely recommend Pamela Rife or Pamela RF on Instagram. As a home workout I will add all the links down below and I'll see you tomorrow for day two of my week of home workouts. Good morning guys, so it's day two of my week of workouts. It is Tuesday and it is currently one minute to eight in the morning and I'm gonna go for a run this morning. So I think I said yesterday I would probably go for a run today and I would just kind of decide in the morning. So yes, it's nice weather and I'm feeling good. So I'm feeling like going for a run. Plus I'm up early so it'll be quiet outside. I obviously can't take you guys with me because it's just kind of not practical to have the camera with me when I'm running, but I might take a few clips on my phone. I usually do about 5k, but I really want to push myself and see if I can do a bit further today. And if I do, I will let you guys know when I'm back. Day two of workouts for the week is a run. And I'll see you once it's done. <laughs> hey guys, so as you can tell from my bright red face, <laughs> I'm just back from my run. And I am so proud of myself because <laughs> I did nine kilometers. I did want to do 10, like that was my goal because I have signed up for a 10K in June, which I don't know if that's gonna happen now, but it doesn't really matter if it does or not because like it was sort of like a personal goal for me anyway that I wanted to be able to run 10K. I got to about seven and a half today and I was like, oh, I, can't, I can't keep going. But I kept going until nine, then I just could not go anymore. But that's only one kilometer off 10 kilometers, so I feel like I could get there really, really soon. I'm just really like surprised at myself that I was able to do that. If you want to start running, I'm gonna give this tip to everybody like, I was quite skeptical about it when I started it, but I downloaded that Couch to 5K app from the BBC for four or five weeks ago, maybe five weeks ago, I did not run at all. Like I did not run. And I downloaded that app and 
no I'm running nine kilometers so like if you want to get into running I couldn't recommend that more just it's very motivating and it, it builds you up to 5k and I had reached the 5k as I said like last week or the week before maybe and then I just sort of felt ready to push myself that little bit further so yeah that's what I did today I ran 9k and I feel dead <laughs> i feel really dead but i feel great um it was just a really great way to start the day and like it puts the day off on a really great note i probably do some stretches or yoga or something because i am actually doing the 30 days of yoga with adrian as well but i'm not recording it just because i don't know like it's sort of a separate thing from my home workouts it's just more something for my mind and it sort of relaxes me but anyway i'm rambling 9k done and I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow or the next day for another home workout. I'll see how I feel tomorrow if I want to do something. <laughs> Good morning guys. So it's now Wednesday and we're back in my garden as you can tell by my wall right here. We have our yoga mat. So we're going to do another YouTube workout today I think. So yeah as I said yesterday I wasn't sure whether I would work out today or not but to be honest I feel good. So I feel like working out. I don't really like go by a schedule or anything. If I feel like working out seven days in one week, then I'll work out seven days in one week. If I feel like working out three days in one week, then I'll work out three days in one week. Do you know what I mean? Like it just kind of depends on how I personally feel at the time. But yeah, today I'm feeling good. I'm actually feeling so energized. It is currently 20 past nine in the morning and I've been up since quarter to three because I was in work this morning. So I expected to come home and like really need a nap. But you know what? I don't even feel that tired because I did go to bed at like half nine. So I did actually get a decent enough sleep. You never know, I might crash later on today. But as for right now, I'm feeling... I'm <laughs> I don't think you saw that. I think she would have been too low for the camera, but you probably heard her running past. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm feeling pretty energized today and I'm feeling like doing a pop sugar workout. So if you don't know what pop sugar is, it's, I think it's a magazine actually. I don't know what it actually is, but they have a YouTube channel called Pop Sugar Fitness and they share loads of different workouts on there. I love their like kickboxing style workouts. They're so much fun. So I think I'm going to do something like that today because that's what I'm in the mood for. And let's just get started. So I was gonna go for this 45 minute epic cardio boxing workout, but I've just seen this one, 45 minute Tabata workout. And I did a 30 minute one of these last week with this guy and it was so much fun. So I think I might actually go with that. Calories. Really reach those hands overhead so you can feel those lats start to warm up. Mm -hmm. That was 45 minutes of Tabata. I really very much enjoyed that. I don't feel like as dead as I have in from previous workouts, like from yesterday and from Monday. During it, it was like hard. I feel like it was another one that was like very like hard on your muscles rather than like tiring you out. But um, I really enjoyed it and I would 100% recommend. I do quite a lot of pop sugar workout when I'm looking to do a home workout because they have so, so many different ones, like literally anything you could want. They have like dancing workouts, they have toning workouts, they have Pilates, they have Tabata, they have kickboxing, they have everything. All different time ranges. I've seen ones from five minutes to an hour. So yeah, I would definitely recommend the Pop Sugar Fitness page if you're looking some home workouts to do. That was day three of my at home workout routine and I will see you tomorrow probably for a run. Good 
morning guys so it is now thursday morning and as i said yesterday i will see you today for a run i'm feeling great this morning i'm up pretty early i got up at half six it's now half seven so i feel like it should be pretty quiet out there so i'm gonna go for a run my camera just died but as i was saying my goal is to beat my 9k from the other day so let's just go <laughs> dying <laughs> So I'm at 9.95 and my goal is 10, 9.97. I can't believe I've just done this. 9.98, 9.99. 10. Okay, so I'm just back from my run. I did the 10K. I am so flipping happy with myself. And I'm even happier because I did it in under an hour. So my time was 59 minutes and 30 seconds, which I know like for people who have been running, that isn't great. But like for me, who doing my first 10K, I am so, so happy with that. And I'm just happy that I did it. Like the only, t I stopped once because my lace came out and I had to tie my lace, but other than that, I ran the whole way. So I'm very happy about that. If you're thinking about starting running, I would definitely recommend. I literally only started about a month ago and I hit 10K today. So yeah, if I can do it, literally anyone can do it. I am telling you that right now. It's been a good morning. It's currently, it's currently 9 a.m. And I feel like I've already accomplished something this morning. So yeah. Happy Thursday, and I will either see you, I'll see you at some point, I don't know whether I'll work out again tomorrow, I'll see how I feel, usually I do take a Friday off, that usually ends up being the day I take off, but I'll just see how I feel tomorrow, and yeah. Good morning guys, so it is now Friday, and as I said yesterday, I normally do take a break on a Friday, and I kind of am taking a break, but I'm also kind of just really craving moving my body. I'm not doing anything too intensive or too high intensity this morning, because my legs are still kind of sore from yesterday's run. They're not massively sore, they're just a bit heavy, if you get me. So I don't really feel like doing anything too high intensity today, as I said, but I do just kind of feel like moving my body. I think just with sitting inside all day, I haven't used as much energy as normal. So like, how do I explain this? If I'd gone for a run yesterday and then had been out all day doing stuff, I would be a lot more exhausted than I am. So I feel quite energized. And like, I just want to get more of like a stretch than anything else. So, my plan for this morning is I'm going to follow Food Fitness Flora's physio workout for improving running because that's kind of my main goal now. I've sort of come around this week to decide that running is my main goal that I want to improve upon more than anything else. Anyway, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do a Sarah's Day Pilates and Core workout that she shared at the start of the week. One, because I said, as I said, my legs are kind of tired, so like I feel like my upper body could use a bit of a move about, and I also just really have wanted to do that video since she put it up at the start of the week, so that's my plan for today. So this one I'm doing is just on, I'm starting off, as I said, with Food and Fitness Flora, one she shared on her Instagram at the start of the week, so it's five different moves, and then you do them for three to five sets, just depending on how you feel. So that's what I'm going to do, and then... I'll decide after three if I want to do more or if not. Anyway, I'll stop rambling and just get into the workout. Okay, so I've just done one round and I already feel like I got a really good sort of like stretch in different parts of my legs, especially around my calves, which as I have explained in previous videos has kind of been a problem area for me, which has kind of like held me back in running before. So she explains it in her caption, like why these moves are good for improving your running. So basically these, this workout like sort of helps activate and strengthen the posterior chain, which is what like pushes you forward and accelerates you during running. So it's basically just strengthening those muscles to improve their ability to like accelerate and decelerate when you're running. So yeah, obviously I don't know the science of it all, but that's just as it is explained here. And she says this was recommended by 
her physiotherapist. That is what I'm doing. I found it good so far. Gonna do a couple more rounds and then I'll move on to the Sarah's Day one. So I've just finished the third round of that and I'm actually gonna call it a day um, because my legs are actually a lot more sore than I expected them to be. So I'm just gonna move on and do the Sarah's Day Pilates and Core. I'll show you the one I'm talking about. This is the one here. She put it up three days ago. So let's go. Okay, so that's Thursday. Pilates workout was so much harder than I expected it to be. My, especially my arms are very much burning. My core was during it, but it's okay now. But it was very good. My upper body would be weaker than my lower body, so I always do find core workouts a bit harder. So it might not be hard for some other people who maybe have a stronger upper body, but my arms are so weak. <laughs> that is me done for the day. That lasted about. 45 minutes between the both of them and I feel great after that so now I'm just gonna go and sit down for the rest of the day I suppose but yes maybe I'll probably see you tomorrow for a run we'll see <laughs> good morning guys it is now Friday no it's not it's Saturday and I'm gonna go out for a run today and yes I am wearing the same tops yesterday because I didn't really sweat on it yesterday and I also don't have any like fitness clothes left because they're all in the wash and we're doing our wash today <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna wear this for my run and then stick it in the wash when i'm done i'm going for my run today i'm not feeling as good this morning as i was the other morning i think we had cake last night for my dad's birthday what the heck is that we had cake for my dad's birthday last night and i can just feel it in my stomach like i feel really bloated so i don't know if i'll be able to go as far this morning but i just want to try and see how far i can actually go so that is the plan it's not as nice of a day either uh, it's kind of gray outside which will hopefully mean it won't be as busy yeah i'm gonna go away for my run see how far i get and we'll see you guys when i get back hit the 5k so that's halfway to the other day well i'm at 5.3 now so let's see if we can get the 10k in today and if we can go further but Let's just wait and see. <laughs> Get the 10k, but it was a bit slower than the other day. But I'm gonna keep going because I feel like I can. So we're just gonna see how long we can go. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm just in from my run, and I actually ended up doing so much more than I meant to or expected this morning because I ran up a different way, and it's my map said there was a road, but. Then I got up the road and it said it was a private lane. So I had to like go out and round. So I was planning on 12K. That was my goal. And I ended up doing 17. So I feel great, like honestly, like I'm so happy and proud of myself that I managed to do that. And surprised that I managed to do that. But currently I am dying like i didn't really realize how tired i was until i stopped like i sat down when i got to my doorstep and my legs just went like jelly and now my legs are so sore i ended up with like salt on my face from the sweat like the sweat actually turned into salt like it's dry salt on my face it feels sandy it's so weird so i think it's time to get in the shower i'm also going to get a snack and a drink and a seat for a minute so yeah I don't think I'll be working out tomorrow after that I feel well and truly punctured I haven't felt this tired after working out ever yeah I think this is the tiredest I've ever felt after working out like I had to sit down when I stopped so since I don't plan on working out tomorrow I think I'm just gonna bring this vlog to an end here I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to head down below and give it a massive thumbs up. If you would like to see more weekly workouts or workout ideas or anything like that, 
please do let me know and I will look in to see what I can do and yeah I love you guys so much and I will see you soon for a brand new vlog bye